Hello. One of the common challenges that people face is deriving the gross pay when you know net. Now, this would come in a case where someone knows what his net pay should be, but doesn't have an idea what the gross would be. This is common during interviewing when you're recruiting for a new job, or you have someone in finance and you just employed new someone and what they've agreed to the person is a net pay and you need to derive the gross pay so that they can issue a letter of employment. Now, Excel helps you do that with a function or a feature known as goal seek. But in order to do that, you need a payroll schedule itself, right? A simple calculator of what that helps you in calculating pay. Yeah. In this particular scenario, we have this scenario here. And we have an estimated gross salary here. And at the bottom, we have the net pay here. Now, how does this work? Now, the date, the um, go seek future is found under data, what if analysis, and go seek. Now, you need to set a cell. The set cell is the cell that would change um, as a result of the competition. So let's say, let's choose this cell, which is our net pay. So a new employee has joined, and his net pay is, for the sake of argument, 450,000 naira. Yeah? Now, this value needs to change to 450,000, and we need to change the particular cell. The cell, which is typically your gross salary in the monthly form, which is this. Now, what you observe is that your by changing cell value, must not be a formula. It must be just a number, not, but must be linked to the total calculation, right? But here, this particular cell must not be a formula. Otherwise, your goal seek wouldn't work. Once we've done that and we fill these three attributes, the set cell, which is our net pay, the total value, the amount we expect our set cell to be, which is our net pay to be, then the cell we need to change to give us our new pay. You can just click OK, right? Voila, Excel has done its job. From this calculation right now, and the person's gross salary is 577,000, and the person's annual gross is a 6.9 million. And I click OK, and I have gotten that, right? So you can see we have our 450,000 net pay, and we can see that the person's monthly gross is 577, and the annual gross is 693. Please note that this calculation is also driven by a lot of other parameters, how you distributed, your um the gross emolument and so the amount may vary slightly depending on how uh, the person's emolument has been disaggregated right and other scenarios but however the basic principle around the calculation remains the same thanks for watching